Hey guys, welcome to the workout demo video for Saturday, May 30th. Your warm up starts with a 10 minute slow jog or bike ride, and then three rounds eight alternating box step ups, seven strict press with a broomstick or empty barbell, and seven kettlebell swings lighter than your workout weight. For your mobility, let's do standing calf stretch, seated hamstring, broomstick shoulder stretch for both arms, and five broomstick pass throughs. Your workout is seven rounds of seven burpee box jump overs, seven push jerks, seven kettlebell ground to overhead, and a 400 meter run. For your box jump overs, you can use a box if you have one, or a small table, stacked plates, etc. Just make sure that it's something stable. You push jerks with a barbell or a sandbag if possible, no more than 115 and 75 pounds. If you need to use two dumbbells or kettlebells, or two one-handed odd objects, that's fine, but not more than 50 pounds and 35 pounds per arm. Single kettlebell or dumbbell for the ground to overhead. Like a kettlebell swing, that touches the ground every time. And the run would be similar to running our 10 mailbox and back. For your cool down, three to five minutes walking, biking, etc. In the couch or Samson stretch, accumulate one minute per leg. And broomstick shoulder stretch, also accumulate one minute per arm. For your burpee box overs, you're gonna do a burpee facing the box, hips and chest down on the ground, coming up any way you need to. Preferably a two footed jump, but it could be a step up and over the box. You could jump all the way over the box if you wanted to, but you certainly don't have to do that. Just get up and over the box, land on the other side, then you can count that rep. For your push jerks with a barbell, we're gonna clean that bar up onto the shoulders first. And then we're staying on the shoulders and going overhead. So dip, drive, you can drop under it. You don't have to, you can do a push press or a push jerk, full extension at the top, knees, hips, Elbows completely open with that bar back stacked over the shoulders. If you're doing it with dumbbells, again, starting with a clean. Same thing applies. Shoulders overhead, full extension at the top. Dipping with your heels staying down on the ground and then finishing off with your biceps close to your ears. Arms full extension. For that kettlebell ground to overhead, the kettlebell needs to touch the floor every time. This is much more of a leg movement then a typical kettlebell swing is more hips. Explode it up, keep the elbows high, kettlebell in close, lock it out overhead, back down, touch the ground. Keep that kettlebell in close. Have a great workout.